Hello everyone, Kelly O'Hara here, and you may recall a video from many years ago called Who is the Smartest Stanford Grad on the USWT? I might have won this, but Press is really smart. Oh, thank you. Maybe not as smart as me, <laughs> but she's still smart. So we've decided to reboot that with part of the latest generation of Nerd Nation in camp with Tierna Davidson, yay, <laughs> and Andy Sullivan. Why don't you get okay. <laughs> Andy got collapsed and I got nothing. I thought it was more like I'm cheering for both general yes. spirit. All right. Yeah. Mary I would have asked I, I, I should have said multi plus. Sorry. Anyway. But, <laughs> I hope no professors are watching this. Do not tag Stanford. <laughs> we got questions and hopefully these two got answers. So let's get going. Today we have two questions from each of these five categories. Science, the United States of America, music and arts, sports, and planet Earth. Oh God. <laughs> I listened to the categories and I was like, okay, science, Tierna, sports, Tierna. I think I might have you in music though. For sure, I said anything pop culture, not me. All right, this is our first question. And our first category <laughs> that we're just jumping right into is music and art. Okay. Music, music and art. Arts, arts, art. Music and art. <laughs> In which museum can you find the Mona Lisa? A, the Louvre in Paris, France. B, the Met in New York City. C, the Hermitage in St. Petersburg, Russia. Spelling, question mark. <laughs> wow, you guys are ready, that was quick. Okay. Uh, please reveal your answers. <laughs> The answer is the Louvre Yay! in Paris, France. Good job. Good start, you Squish. Guys, that's great. You guys are off to a great start. We're good. Here. Great. Confidence is up. Next question. The Tony Awards recognize excellence in which? <laughs> a, daytime television. B, theater. C, literature. Andy doesn't seem too confident. As soon as you said Tony Awards, uh, I was out. Reveal your answers. Good job! Oh. Uh, B. Oh, okay. Theater. Nice. All right, we're on to science. This is you, Squish. But don't get my confidence up Sorry. and then get it ruined. <laughs> How many bones are in the human body? A, I mean, Tiern is a, okay. A, 176. <laughs> B, 230. C, 206. I need to rewrite it, write it bigger. Hold on, sorry. Reveal your answers. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Tie. This is Three, going well. Wow. Yeah, this is fantastic. Which planet would you weigh the most on? A, Venus. B, Mercury. C, Jupiter. Sorry. Reveal. I smudged it. I smudged it. OK. Reveal your answers. Jupiter! What? Is that the answer? Yeah, that's the answer. <laughs> Do you know why? It's because it's the furthest from the sun? No, because it's the, the biggest. Yeah, it's the oh. biggest. So it's the most gravitational pull. Well, cool. wrong, wrong hey, but you know what? Says, but right answer. So. <laughs> you did, hey, Still counts. Yeah, it does. We're on to the United States of America. This might be the risky section. Which of these states does not border an ocean? A, Alabama. B, North Carolina. C, Vermont. Oh gosh. Just visualize a map. You I know? know, but now I'm second guessing myself. Don't second guess right. yourself. Okay. You guys good? Yeah. You don't wanna uh, you don't wanna second no. triple, triple triple guess yourself? I'm going, oh. back. I'm going back. I'm going back. Oh wow. We're going back. Yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> okay. I'm Reveal your answers. C Vermont. Hmm. They're landlocked. Too bad. Vermont, that's too bad. <laughs> just We're picture on. a map. <laughs> Good just advice, picture Kelly. a map. But guys. also, like, just... sometimes it could throw you off because, like, I feel like the U.S. always gives you a map of the U.S. and, like, never of, a, of Canada. And so you always see the U.S. and you're like, oh, well, it's, like, on the border. But it's, yeah, like, but... there's a whole ass country above it. <laughs> that's <laughs> true. There's but a there's a whole ass country above it, but not a whole ass ocean. Right, exactly. <laughs> well, then, well, there you go. We're still in the United States of America. Okay. Alaska and Hawaii were the 49th and 50th states. Which was the 48th state? A, Arizona. B, New Mexico. C, Wyoming. 
You guys want to talk about it? Um, Listen, I feel like if I talk about it, I'm going to make a I'm mistake. I'm not feeling super confident about this answer. <laughs> yeah. Well, you guys are tied right now, so yeah, somebody so this, needs to pull ahead. This could right. be it. <laughs> Reveal your answers. <gasps> it's difficult because they're next to each other, but it's A, Arizona. Oh, I'm very bummer. sorry, Andy. You know what? But you were probably thinking on the same. Yeah, same you know, geographical like, yeah. region, but you know, I don't, I don't know a lot about Arizona. Okay, guys. Yes. Or New Mexico. Tierna pulls ahead. Throw out. All right, we're expanding our territory now to planet Earth. Oh, oh no. Which mammal weighs the most? A, elephant. B, hippo. C, blue whale. I feel like T's really gonna start pulling ahead now. <laughs> Reveal your answers. Good job! Okay. <laughs> I'm, I feel we're doing I'm, great. I'm honestly just happy that I'm on the same wavelength you guys as really you are. Not. Like, we're pretty consistent. <laughs> you guys we're really doing are. well. Which we're just absolutely crushing how I feel it. I mean, definitely tag Stanford at this point because these people are geniuses. Planet Earth, again. Okay. What is a group of giraffes called? Oh. No. A. A squad. <laughs> That's funny. B. A tower. C. A gaggle. And I do have a hint. Oh, but it doesn't seem like either of you guys need a hint, which is kind of a okay. Bummer. Hold off on the hint. What your hint would have been, because I want to try to answer with no hint. Well, okay. Let's see if that you guys are too changed. smart for the fun of this game. Reveal. A a squad. A a squad. Wait. Is it not a squad? No. Oh. Is it a tower? It's, not, it's a tower. Really? Yeah, really? Yeah, I knew it wasn't gaggle, but I was like, yeah. tower is too obvious. Like, oh, who I would it pick was that? Gaggle. Oh, gaggle of geese, right? Yeah. yeah no. the, what was the, the hint, hint was, was going to be, and you guys should have taken it. I think you would have gone I guess that. we should have. Yeah. The name is part of a nickname for one. Oh, oh. Team Power of Power. Mm. Power of Power. Shout out Sam Mewis. Tierna is still in front. Only by one. We have two questions left. Oof, okay. Oof. <laughs> and they're sports. Oh, oh cool. yeah. Andy doesn't feel great anymore. <laughs> and Tierna's very, very stressed. Oh, yeah, I'm she... stressed. Maximum stress here. <laughs> Which of these colors is not on the Olympic rings. A, blue, B, purple, C, red. Reveal your answers. Correct, that's too <laughs> easy. Oh, I've been seeing it in my dreams. <laughs> exactly, yeah, let's go. All right, everybody call now. We are at the final question of questions, ladies and gentlemen. Tierna is winning by one. And this particular question will not only prove who is the smartest Stanford grad, but might determine who is the most loyal U.S. women's national team player. Oh dear, okay. <laughs> who scored the first goal in U.S. women's national team history? Oh, Andy's oh. <laughs> Neither is Tierna. I told uh, you guys. Does it count if I know the year that? No, it does not. Okay. A, Michelle Akers. B, Mia Hamm. C, April Heinrichs. Do you guys love the US Women's National Team? Forever and always. <laughs> was that cheesy? That was bad. <laughs> cut that part out. You, um, you feel good? I am as You're sure as I'm ever going to be. You're ready to submit your final answer. Final answer. Reveal your answer. <laughs> was it? Michelle Akers. Really? No. Well, that's disappointing. Well, T wins. <laughs> Can we do a different national team question? Final, final question. How many players have earned at least one cap for the U.S. Women's National Team? A, 237. B, 306. C, 417. Like how many years has the team been? Yeah, that's how been. Like, you want to talk <laughs> through some logic? Okay. okay, let's talk about it, ladies. I will put 30 seconds on the clock. Oh dear. You guys are on the clock. Not to put any pressure on you. Okay. But this what team is have? built on pressure. Yeah. <laughs> pressure moments, ladies. Can you rise above? Can you really think through it? I wrote one down, but I'm not confident. Okay. <laughs> Me too. Well, that's one way to do it. All right. <laughs> Reveal your answers. Are we both wrong? No, it's 237. I'm... A. That also, you know that's what? a great fact. This is everything that's... that they've gotten wrong, they've gotten wrong together. And that's, you know, that's what I love about this team. Another great thing about this team. <laughs> that's it. a really good fact. That's a, Yeah, 237. That's... Interesting. That is I good was stat. thinking like, wow, we're one of those 237. You guys are. 
Wow. It is still eight to seven, and I am back for the final, final, final bonus. Not tiebreaker, but end on something fun. Right answer question. We're going away from Yosem's national team, not because we don't love it, but because we have a more topical question. The United States is the category, and the question is: If the Senate is tied on a vote, who breaks the tie? A. The president. B. The vice president. C. The speaker of the house. What you got for me, ladies? I wish I knew more U.S. history. <laughs> this is what I have. Reveal your answers. B. Vice president, <laughs> and that's Madam Vice President now. So <clears throat> shout out. <clears throat> we ended on the right answer. Wow. <laughs> But Tierna still won, so congratulations, Tierna Davidson. Can we just say, I would just like to say that Tierna had a, a hard go at trivia. I cannot believe you're doing this. Many years ago, but you know what? This is redemption. You should be proud of yourself. Thank you, thank you. I feel like I've grown. Yes, you have. Andy, you played a great game. Thank you. Very proud of you. Thank you. It was you fun brought time. it. Thanks yeah. for hosting. You really pushed yeah. her. You this know? was great. It was, I'm, I'm impressed I stayed that close, honestly. So. I'm very impressed with you. I feel like you. this was a lot better than we thought it was going to go. <laughs> We were, yesterday, last night, we were like, oh, should we look up a trivia question? Should we quiz each other? <laughs> I, they I got, were going to study, folks, for trivia. Completely random trivia. <laughs> that got, is a Stanford grad right there. Go Cards!